get your cup of tea. Get comfortable. We're about to go in. What do you want to say? What do I want to say? And I forgot. Hello to my new subscribers. Firstly, notification gang though, because you know there's a there's levels to this. The best gang, notification gang. I see you guys. You guys are always first saying holla. You guys are the best. I appreciate you. To my subscribers, to the fam, how y'all doing? Are y'all good? Um, I hope you're good. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Lisa M. I do faith-based videos and everything else in between. Um so yeah welcome to the family if you're not subscribed do subscribe you know subscribe be part of the fam we are a loving family here we believe in god here and we believe in just bettering ourselves and being better people we encourage each other here and yeah so welcome welcome guys welcome back today as you can see by the title what's on your mind what's on your mind and today we're speaking about the mind because the mind is one of the most powerful things it can change our lives so as you know or if you don't know the mind is separated into three parts you have your your conscious your unconscious and your subconscious so your conscious is what you are aware of what you wake yourself to conscious is when you focus on something you know you weren't focusing on it but you have the ability to focus on something and then you have your unconscious, which you guys understand that it's involuntary. It just happens automatically. And then you have the subconscious that we are focusing on today. And why the subconscious is because that's where your mind stores your memories. That's where it stores your past life experiences. What you impress on it is what will be expressed in your experienced life. Let me say that again. So what you impress, what is put into your subconscious is what will be expressed, is what will manifest, is what will come about in your daily experience life. How you go about your life really depends on, you know, your subconscious, what's chilling in your subconscious mind. What also, what also made me do this video is... Um, Shout out to my church, shout out to the youth um, at our church. We are speaking about the mind and this verse that... Um, our preacher read in one of our youth classes blew my mind you guys it shocked me i was like what this is in the bible you know okay so we're gonna read it so job yeah we're back in job job chapter 3 verse 25 says for the thing i greatly feared has come upon me what i dreaded has happened to me you know the thing that i <laughs> The thing that I greatly feared has come upon me and what I dreaded has happened to me. You know, he impressed that he was fearful. He dreaded, you know, so what you impress will be expressed in your experienced life. Um, what are you thinking? What's on your mind, you guys? What is on our minds? You know, we dread our Mondays, you know, and then we have an awful Monday. Then we have a blue Monday. You know that we can have great Mondays, you guys. But if we dread it, then it's going to suck. You know, we dread the exams that we're having currently. Or we think that I'm not going to pass. And you're not going to pass. And you guys know, so as a man thinks, so is he. You know, what you think is what you are. It's how your life will turn out to be. The power of our thoughts are so important. And um, I just want us to be more aware. Basically, this video, guys, I want, once it's over, I want you to be more aware of your thoughts, you know. Um, a friend of mine always says, like, when he's having a bad day, he says, I need to reclaim it. I need to reclaim my day. Basically, I need to change my mindset. I know that I say this. I say this. If I'm having a bad day, I'm like, you know what, today is cancelled. Let's forget about today. We'll try again tomorrow, you know. And I love how his mindset, when he says, I need to reclaim it. The day is still long. It can still be positive. If I'm having a negative day, it can still be positive. I need to reclaim it. I need to change my mind. I need to renew my mind. And I want to bring this thing of renewing our minds. You saw the intro verse. It says, let me read it. Ah, the intro verse. Um, so Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, And do not be conformed to this world but be transformed it's a transformation you know from negative to positive but be transformed by the renewing of your mind renew your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of god um 
one of the main things in my life right now you guys know this already about the will of god i want god's will for my life what is god's will for my life and you can prove god's will you can find god's will when you renew your mind daily and you fill it with what's good you know philippians chapter 4 verse 8 it says brothers and sisters think about these things whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is lovely whatever is of good reports whatever is praiseworthy whatever is of virtue and then it says at the end meditates on these things meditates on these things whatever is good in your life there is something good in your life whatever is praiseworthy meditate on these things think about these things especially um when we go to sleep you know that's when you know you know your 1 a.m thoughts you know when you go crazy you know when you can't sleep and you're thinking about your past experiences you're thinking about your life you're thinking about what you did last night you think about that boyfriend you think about that ex you think about all you're thinking about a lot of things um and that's where the devil plays that's where the devil has his time with us um and i i i'm trying right now that before i sleep that my mind i need to meditate and i meditate on good positive thoughts and i just fall asleep into that idea and even if it means i'm watching a sermon after i pray and i've read my bible i will fall asleep listening to a sermon my mind is being filled with positivity it's being being filled by the word of god it's being filled by what i need and i always say this the devil is a liar what is the opposite of a lie the truth right so we need to fill our minds with the truth and john 17 verse 17 it says sanctify them by your truth your word is truth the word of god is the truth and we need to meditate on god's word it needs daily you guys joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it says uh, meditate on the word of god day and night day and night day and night day and night the word of god needs to be filled in our hearts in our minds okay let me put that on silence it needs to be in our minds um we cannot go it's our daily bread it is our daily bread and i want us to substitute the lies that are chilling in our subconscious you know we need the healing we need to be healed of our past we need to be healed um of things and if we dwell um isaiah what's that verse Isaiah 43, I forgot, but it says do not dwell on your past. Um, and that's what we do. And we just dwell on our past. We keep rethinking the same things that happened, you know. And we need to reclaim. We need to reclaim. We need to renew and um, have that change of mindset every single day. That's what I want to share with you guys today. Um, the subconscious does not reject anything whatever it is it just accepts whatever you think you got it just accepts it you know and we really need to be careful about what's in our subconscious mind um and also i wanted to bring about the law of attraction i remember i read the book the law of attraction um back in the first year and basically it says the idea or the phenomena of the law of attraction is what you think your thoughts is what you will attract and I'm seeing this a lot on Twitter. That people, people will be like, this time this year, this and this will be in my life. They are attracting that. I even want to quote tweet and be like, yes, amen. That will happen to you because you are declaring it to God. And it, that's what will come. This is so deep, you guys. This is so deep. Um, we can attract. We can get what we want out of life. Based on our thoughts. This is deep. And another thing also, especially us ladies, I know I struggle with this, is that um, I can be very pessimistic. And what that means is that I will focus on the negative, you know. Um, a lot of positive might be happening, but my mind will just look at the negative. Or um, when something is so good, I just always think that something negative or something bad will happen. When you're pessimistic, someone will say something to you that is neutral. Like it's, they're saying it. But when I, you will take it in a negative way, you will react to what they're saying in a negative way. And then now it becomes a negative situation. When in, in initial fact, they weren't saying it like you were thinking. But because you're pessimistic, but because you see things in a negative way all the time, it's now, it's now a negative situation. It's now 
it's now what it wasn't you know and we need to be careful of that you know i've come to learn that when someone says something let me be optimistic about it let me look at let me look at it in a positive way um because maybe they were not being negative but because mina i just see the negative all the time um then i think it's negative when it's not <laughs> do you understand like let's try to be more optimistic i really pray that the truth and and just your mind can just be filled with so much positivity that it can manifest into your lives into your experienced lives and daily you just live a life that is good that is joyful that has peace because of what's here what's in your mind whoo whoo um yeah I love I love Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 it says that may the word of God dwell in you richly with all wisdom you know um, at the end of the day you know we need the wisdom to live this life and I, I pray that it dwells in you richly I love when it says because you know how I mentioned that we dwell on the negatives but may the word of God may truth may good things dwell in you richly like just positivity you know just good things that's what i pray that is my prayer to you and um yeah man yeah man that's what i wanted to share with you guys today that what's on your mind and let's just be more mindful it's in the little it's in the little thoughts that we have you know that we can just we can just change them a little bit you know um we can just change the way that we think daily and it can make a big difference in our lives that's it for me. I love you guys. And yeah.